Hey, good morning. Okay, well, this is Miss Mischief walking around my neighborhood trying to get some steps in. It's a Super Bowl Sunday. So it's the, uh, I've completed two weeks of uh, keto and I am 2.32 this morning, uh, 10 pounds down. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I love my neighbors. Their dog may not love me, but <laughs> little tiny chihuahua. Anyway, um, Super Bowl Sunday, Houston, Texas, completed two weeks of keto, down 10 pounds. I was down 10 pounds at the uh, first week, so I haven't lost any weight, but I haven't gained any weight, and I know that I'm doing the right thing. And everything is fitting differently, so I know the inches are coming off. Um, just trying to record and do things a little bit differently so you get a variety. You know that I actually step outside my house. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. I, uh, I did yoga this morning, and I will put the link down below. It was a 10-minute beginner's yoga. Dear Jesus. <laughs> um, that damn dog position, what, what did she call it? I don't even remember, but that was the longest 10 minutes, and I stretched things that I swear I hadn't stretched before, and, um, I need to do yoga. <laughs> you just gotta, yeah, how crazy is that, right? I mean, it wasn't, it was beginner's. And I still, what a forward-facing dog. I don't know. I just know that I don't have the right clothes for it. Like I had this baggy loose shirt on. And so like when I'm upside down, my uh, shirt is hanging over my head and my face. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see what she's doing. <laughs> and because I'm so new to yoga, even though she's telling me what she's doing, I've never seen that before, so I don't know. I'm like, what does that really look like? I mean, I hear what she's saying, but what does that really look like? And then I can't see, I'm fighting with my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> How's your morning? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of real time. This won't go up until, you know, Friday, but just thought I would say good morning. Still morning here, beautiful day. Um, I'm getting some steps in today with intention, you know, not accidental, just run of the mill, walking as I, you know, accomplish tasks, but actually left the house on purpose just to get in some steps. So I'm really uh, trying to be more physically active between the yoga and the um, steps. My nose is running. Look how pretty under the trees. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. That's another, <laughs> that's another thing. But the keto is definitely getting easier. Um, yesterday I made some, uh, I haven't eaten it yet because I seem to cook when I'm fasting. Like I'll be starving and I'm like, I'm going to cook and I'm going to eat this after my 16 hour fast. Another thing that I am, I haven't made up my mind yet. So I normally during the week eat between 1500 and 1700 calories a day. Um, and my carbs are usually between 20 and 25 though this whole week I stayed 20 or below. So I was really excited about that that I'm figuring out, sorry about the sun there, figuring out how to uh, eat keto and not put all the carbs in. The other thing, whew, okay, we are stepping up our steps. Um, but I think on Saturday and Sunday, I might start bumping my calorie count up to um, 2,000 a day, 2,000 calories a day, 
so that I can, I live near the airport too, by the way. That's a big old plane flying overhead. I love that white noise. If I don't bump up my calories today, there's not really, I'm not really gonna be able to enjoy much, even if it's all meat and no carbs because my cal calorie count is so low. And honestly, you know, I'm okay with um, this process being slow and steady and being able to enjoy my time off with my family. I really want to fast, definitely when I'm at work because I don't enjoy meals at work. I mean, I eat when I'm at work because you have to have X amount of calories to keep your performance up. But, you know, at home, I don't, I don't think I want to keep not enjoying my time with my family and my friends, especially for something like the Super Bowl, which I'm not a sports fan, but I like the food. <laughs> I like to eat. I like to get together with my family and friends. Um, so that's a thought. I haven't made a f final decision on that, but I'm leaning towards that. Also, I, I'm thinking about maybe I won't continue to do 16 hour fast on the day that I have the uh, upped calorie count so that if I want to have a nice big breakfast with my friends and family, that that's an option because right now it's not, it's not an option. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't work out. Um, because like I said, I normally stop eating between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. So then that means I can't eat again until 12 or 1. Breakfast is over. Um, most people are having lunch on the weekend, maybe brunch, but still. And uh, yeah, I want to be able to enjoy these things. Also, haven't had any alcohol, but I'd like to find some low carb. Um, I, I know White Claw is a uh, low carb. I've never tried White Claw. Anybody drink White Claw? Tell me in the description in the description box. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what you think about White Claw. Um, I've never tried it, but I know it's low carb, so I'm tempted. My taste buds are definitely changing. Changing. I wanted to give you an update on those muffins I made incorrectly because I put lemon extract instead of the uh, vanilla. So, I, you know, I didn't toss them. My daughter said she would eat them. But, you know, we picked them up. We put them in Ziploc bags. We put them in the fridge so that they would stay good. And yesterday, I really wanted something sweet. A serving is two muffins, but you know, I honestly, I only need one, but I was so excited. I wanted something sweet so bad. They were already made. I was like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and revisit these muffins. And, uh, I went ahead and my warmed them up in the microwave just a little, just till they were, you know, not hard and cold. <coughs> I also put uh, butter, Carrie's gold, unsweetened, unsweetened, unsalted, dear Jesus, unsalted butter, and I ate them with um, a half a cup of fresh strawberries, and that seemed to really indulge my sweet tooth you know it was so good for my sweet tooth and it still does have an aftertaste but the aftertaste isn't as bad as it was the first time and then when I take a bite and I swallow it and it has the aftertaste I have a fresh strawberry it rids the aftertaste and there's sweetness from the strawberry anyway delicious so um I don't know if it's just my taste buds changing or if I was so desperate for something sweet. Maybe it's a combination of things. But uh, yeah, and then I did use liquid stevia 
in the recipe and some people are telling me that liquid stevia does have an aftertaste so something to be aware of i'd never used liquid stevia before now so something i didn't know um yeah anyway wanted to catch up with you guys i did order a couple of new cookbooks off of amazon they should be arriving this week I got one that I did get that crock pot one that I was interested in. I also bought a dirty lazy keto cookbook to have on hand. Um, I don't know all the differences. I'm, you know, big learning curve here for me. But yep. So that's how my Sunday's going so far. I also broke out the air fryer today I got it out of the box I set it up on the counter and haven't tested it out yet haven't read the instructions but it's on the counter and we're closer now than we were before I uh, have an ice cream maker haven't used that yet either but I'm hoping to do that this week what else oh I really want to make some spaghetti using what is it the zucchini noodles and I have some zucchini I have a fresh I have I have a fresh I have a spiralizer oh my gosh do you have an HEB do you live in Texas I love HEB I can order so much stuff for, from them and I didn't I know I had a lot to do today so I like place my order online and they're gonna charge me five dollars to deliver it and that is nothing in the big scheme of things for me not to have to you know leave the house and be more productive at home yeah I'll happily pay the five dollars I don't know how much it costs me in gas and time to pick out the groceries and all that crap but uh, I'm always looking for ways to save time and that seems like a uh, really good deal and so I placed my and HEB has like a lot of keto friendly things which uh, besides meats I mean they have some of the specialized keto stuff so it makes when I'm doing yeah, keto so one full lap I'm I about I guess halfway done with the second lap I haven't looked at my watch to see how many steps that is. I don't know how many more I'm going to do right now. This this looks okay. Yeah, when the sun isn't like crazy in my eyeballs. They're eyeballs, by the way. Eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you joined me today as I just walk around my neighborhood blabbering about keto in the land of keto. There are no carbs. La, 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 la. Yeah, I guess sometimes I get on, a, get off track and sing. Oh, I should make a song, right? Some silly song about, you know, low, low carb life. I've had two cups of water this morning. I'm running behind on the water, but I am carrying a water bottle. And... I made my bulletproof coffee this morning. It is sitting. I drank about half of it. The rest is sitting on the counter. I have the uh, broccoli cheddar soup in the crock pot. I think I'm gonna stop. And I don't know how many um, steps that will be, but it's gotta be more steps than what I'm doing in the house, right? Of just my normal routine task. Because I did it with intention and purpose. And I think it's important that you live your life that way, not just with your steps, but all of your decisions. You know, we all know there's things we don't have control over, but the more we're proactive and less reactive I think the more positive our life will be 
So that's pretty. I'm going to make my own marinara sauce with no sugar because every time I go to buy a sauce in the store so far, mind you, I'm just starting, I haven't found one already made with no sugar. And I would like the carbs to only come from the tomatoes and not the, um, I don't want any sugar. I'm sauce. still learning how to buy the right amount of produce for me. One of the reasons I made the broccoli cauliflower soup, one, I like it. Two, I had broccoli, um, I say broccoli cauliflower. It was, the recipe was a broccoli cheese recipe, uh, broccoli cheese soup recipe. But I had a bag of broccoli and cauliflower and I just stuck them both in there. I also had a little bit of leftover spinach that was gonna go bad if I didn't use it. So I stuck the spinach in there too. And I put it in the crock pot. I let everything get real soft and mushy. And then I blended it all together. So like, you can't tell that there's spinach in there. I doubt it changes the taste that much. It just adds more um, vitamins. So a different kind of vitamin. So it has broccoli. It has, mine actually has broccoli, cauliflower, spinach. I did put an onion. I put some celery. Officially completed two laps. What is my watch? 600 steps. Not too bad for two laps. That lets me know something more than I knew before. So, what happened on Super Bowl Sunday? Well, we had good food. We grilled um, sausage and hot dogs for the children because they like hot dogs. And um, salmon. Oh, it was so good. And that day, I definitely went over on my calories, but I did not go over on my carb count, so I was really excited about that. I also indulged in, um, I've got my list here so I wouldn't forget, um, Rebel ice cream, it's a keto ice cream. I, I loved it, and I ate the whole thing. Not at one sitting, but over the course of the day, the rest of the day. I did eat an entire pint, just so you know. So, um, yeah. Um, also, here's one of my favorite things. Um, I really wanted to have a drink. And rum has no carbs. And I measured out 1.5 ounces. And I mixed it with a cold, ice cold diet root beer. And it was the best thing for me. It was delicious and I got my booze on. So I was so happy and so, so happy. I was like, oh, where have you been all my life? I did not do a 16 hour fast from Sunday into Monday. So Monday when I woke up, I did enjoy um, having eggs. So it was, it was wonderful. And uh, again, I've lost a total of 10 pounds in two weeks. Two weeks are done. And um, I'm good with that. You know, the, the, um, my body is changing. So I went to work last night and the best thing, you know, because sometimes you have your scale, right? You have your scale and then you have your clothes but two, two different coworkers were like, hey, you've lost weight. And I'm like, well, my scale hasn't moved that much, but the inches are, are going. And so that was, you know, one of the best things that you can be told, right? When other people start noticing that you're being successful, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. So one of my coworkers is also, she's not doing keto, but she is watching out for her carbs. And I asked her last night, I was like, Hey, when you think of carbs, what do you think? And she's like, sugar. And I'm like, yeah, donuts. I think donuts. And, um, yeah. Um, kale has carbs and it makes me so sad because kale isn't sweet. 
That's not a donut. That's not dessert. Why kill I gotta have carbs? What the? Anyway, it's crazy to me, right? She and I, we started joking around. Yeah, have a carb. <laughs> like it's a punishment. <laughs> you just sit there and you just sit there and eat your carbs. You know, could you imagine being anywhere and someone threaten you that, you know, if you're not on your best behavior, that, um, you, all you're going to get to eat is carbs. Can you imagine? I mean, I don't know. That's pretty funny. That's how I got out of shape in the first place was uh, my carb addiction. The other thing I did want to mention is um, I did have the, I, I know I've said this before, I've had the gastric sleeve. And I have to be very aware of serving sizes. And some of the recipe serving sizes are larger than I can actually eat at one sitting. So I need to start like recalculating my meals. Like I made that, um, the broccoli cheddar soup and oh, it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. The recipe said it made, um, four servings and I measured out. I got, I, I couldn't eat the four servings would be too big. So I split it into five, but honestly, I should have split it into six servings. That probably would have been the best thing for me because even the, even with it working out to five servings, they were still quite large for me because of the gastric sleeve. So that's another thing I'm learning. And sometimes after my 16 hour fast, I'm so hungry and I eat too fast and then I don't feel so good. But again, it's a process. I'm excited to be making progress and um, I'm going to keep you in the loop, you know, and if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. And if you have questions, please ask. I mean, I will tell you everything that I know. Not that I know a lot at this time. Um, I didn't get a chance to use any of my new cookbooks yet. I'm hoping to do that this upcoming week. And, um, but again, I will keep you in the know. And if you have any special requests, if there's anything you want to see, um, what I eat in a day or, uh, me actually making a recipe, a food prep or, oh heck, I don't know. You let me know. You let me know what content in regards to keto interest you. And I will do my best to produce that content and we can be on this keto journey together and be healthier. The whole point is to be healthier, right? So um, I'll see you again next week unless you stop by and see how this magic happened all over my face because I do make it too. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, I'm glad you stuck around and I hope to see each and every one of you again soon. Bye.